Hello and welcome to this instructional video on Picasa 3.5. Um, this first part of the video is going to focus on organizing. Uh, before we actually get into the editing and all the fun stuff within Picasa, we want to show you just basically how Picasa organizes photos. Um, so we're going to be just giving you a little quick tour, um, starting from the left-hand side and going to various parts of the of the screen to show you um, how Picasa basically puts together and organizes all your photos. So starting on the left hand side you'll see I actually have a couple of different headings here, one called album, one called people, projects, and folders. Let's go ahead and start off with this folders here on the left hand side um, in the middle of the screen. Uh, whatever folders you have in your computer when you install Picasa, Picasa automatically takes that same layout and the same names and everything and basically creates a mirror image of those folders on Picasa. So you basically don't have to do anything. All right, so Picasa makes it nice and easy to find those. Now you'll also notice that um, next to the names of each of my folders, I have a number in parentheses. You could probably guess those are the amount of photos I have in each of them. So this 27 Outwood, I have 14 photos within that folder. Okay, so pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now, I also have something called albums. Okay, so if you think about albums in the way that you think about photo albums in the real world, if you come back from a big long vacation and you've got 500 photos, but you want to actually put them into an album. Okay, Picasso allows you to actually create sort of a greatest hits, sort of specialized folder for your, for your um, greatest uh, favorite photos, basically. Okay, so you can actually do that. So there's a number of different ways to create albums. And the first one is to click on File, and your first choice there is New Album. Another way is down here at the bottom, you have this little blue icon. If you move your mouse over, it says Add Selected Items to an Album, or then click on New Album after you select that dropdown. Okay? And then either way, you'll get the same message that comes up, a little dialog box. It says Album Name, you put in the date, you have an alternate, um, an option for putting in music, etc., etc. Now, I have some photo, some albums here called B-Day 09, and it has 69 photos in it. So that is now inside my albums. Now, the thing to know about albums is that they will not appear in your hard drive. Okay, so if you're, if you're using um, a PC in your My Pictures folder, if you're on a Mac in your Pictures folder, or in your iPhoto. All right, so, um, but it is nice because if you ever delete anything, and this is very important, if you delete anything from your albums, Okay, they will not get deleted from your folders. Okay, so try and understand the difference there between albums and folders. Okay, so but if you delete anything from your folders, yes, they will get deleted both from your folder and from your album because your folder is basically um, the the mold for your computer for, for your for your photos. Okay, where everything actually originates. Okay, so I'm not going to get into people and projects at this point. Um, but know that this is uh, something that, that's a little more of an advanced feature, but definitely uh, no less exciting and fun. Okay, so um, a few more things about uh, organization and just sort of viewing the screen. Um, notice here down on the left hand side, um, I says here folder selected 14. Okay, this is basically what's showing me what's currently um, selected. So this is going to be important if I ever want to email photos. Um, if I want to upload them to the web, if I want to print them, I need to know what I'm actually selecting because sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. You're not really sure what you're going to be selecting. So if I click on this, now notice I only have one photo selected. Okay, see that? And it changes every time I click on it. Okay, I can click on this now. And now it says I have 11 photos selected because I've selected the entire folder. So then that would allow me to actually upload or email all 11 photos. If I just wanted to do one, all I do is click on it right there. Okay, so it makes it nice and easy um, to communicate to you what you're actually working with here. Okay, so uh, moving along from that, okay, that's definitely an important thing to know about. Um, and let's go ahead and just look at um, one other thing when it comes to viewing your folders, all right? So um, we just looked on the left-hand side here, uh, working with um, all of your different folders, working with your different albums. I want you to notice these little icons up here. All right, so if I move my mouse over, it tells me set view to show flat folder structure, which I'm in right now. Notice I have a flat view as opposed to a tree structure. All right, so what's the difference between that? There's flat, 
tree structure is kind of like a parent-child folder within a folder subfolder relationship. So if I click on that, you'll notice now I actually have um, folders and subfolders and subfolders, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so if I click on any of these little um, triangles here, you'll see I actually have subfolders within there. Okay, I click on this and I have subfolders within that, okay, because it's a tree structure, right? So think about a tree with its branches and things like that, okay? Or you can go back to your flat structure. So that's going to totally depend on you, okay, depending on what you want to work with. All right, so you can move up and down your structure just like this. And I'm going to go back to my 27 Atwood. Okay, and notice now the, the um, order of it is in alphabetical order. Now, the way you change that is you go to your view options right to the right of the structure, and you'll see I can do sort by date, recent changes, size, by name, which it is right now, etc. Okay, so this is a really nice way of uh, just sorting things out nice and quickly, nice and easy. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and move on to uh, just a general view thing. So if we come over here in the middle to the right, you see we have this little slide rule. It says click and drag over photos to magnify them. So if I click and drag this, I can actually see more, or I can click to the right and I can actually see a close-up of them. All right, so just depending on how you want to view your photos, this can be uh, very helpful for you. Okay, so that should be pretty straightforward for you as well. Um, now, moving on to the right here, my ability to move up and down between each photos, I just use my little scroll wheel. Picasa has a little bit different of a structure than maybe what you're used to. Notice how this little thing doesn't actually move up. So this can be a little bit tricky for some people, um, including myself uh, when I first learned it. Um, now, these guys up on top actually move you from the top of one folder um, or to the bottom of the entire folder, okay, which actually makes it uh, nice and easy, I think, um, when, once you know the, the feature, um, to actually go all the way to the top or go all the way to the bottom of these particular folders. Okay, so, and you can also use your scroll wheel. I'm actually on a laptop right now. I actually find the scroll wheel is, is probably the easiest of all things because uh, you can just very, very gently and very not, not abruptly, I guess you should say, um, basically go through all those things. 